County's Fred Mack retired from the NYPD years before 9-11, but when the city put out a call for help on that terrible day, he answered. Eight on your side's Megan Gannon joins us live from our Tampa newsroom to explain. Hey, Stacy. So Fred Mack remembers when the Twin Towers were being built. He was just a young officer. So to see them crash down, he says it was a type of devastation he'd never seen before. Fred Mack was living here in Florida when the attacks on the World Trade Center occurred. All of a sudden, I see the other plane coming, jet coming around. Then I know it was, an, it was a terrorist act. Mack retired as a detective from NYPD after serving more than 20 years. In the days following 9-11, Mack received a letter calling on detectives and cops to volunteer and help with search and rescue. So I got down there October 1st and was still smoking. And I've never seen in my life the devastation that was there. These are pictures Mac took when he went back to New York to help at Ground Zero. He would spend a total of 10 days volunteering, trying to help find and identify people. Because it's a lot easier uh, taking for a stranger than, than looking for a friend or a colleague. But there were guys that were sleeping there just to keep on hoping they find something. Now, 20 years later, a shadow box in his room reminds him of that day and all the heroes that emerged. I saw the city of New York become one. Everybody became one. Uh, people were helping people. You know, there was a lot of civilians uh, that were going back in the building to bring their friends out. Now, Max says every time he passes that shadow box in his room, he stops to think about that day and the friends he lost. Stacy, Megan, we saw the shadow box in your story there, but it, it was hard to tell exactly what's in there. Yeah, so of course, Stacy, there are pictures from Ground Zero, but some of the more interesting items are a piece of glass from one of the windows. It's actually blue glass, and he says that the blue helped with the sun for those people that worked in the Twin Towers. He also have, has pieces of window panes, and he has a piece of the foundation of the building as well. Stacy, All right, Megan Gannon reporting live. Thank you.